early start today. All right, you can see I got my pedal assembly out of here. I don't know if you can make that out or not. So I'm gonna use that, to get some measurements off of, and then I'm gonna get this other measurement. I think I wanna do this diagonal. Measure between these two points right here. Yeah, this is not an exact science here. Five thirty seconds. Four and five thirty seconds. All right, found these little plans. Well, some parts on the internet it's supposed to do the same thing that I'm asking this thing to do. I figured I would just model my stuff after this. So there's the piece that goes on this right here. I believe that's it. Really kind of taking a shot in the dark at that is the exact piece. I probably should just make my own, but uh, I probably cut that out of paper and make sure everything works as templates and then uh, cut it out of steel. So what I'm going to do now is scale this picture so that um, I'll get some kind of representation of the exact layout. And let's zoom in as close as possible. Put a little point right in the center here. A little point right see down here in the bottom it says two and seventeen thirty seconds we need to make that four and a quarter do you want to resize the model okay now the size of this model this uh, part right here should be exactly the size that I'm working with so I can just trace everything out in my precision on here uh, 30 seconds so All right, well, hopefully my idea works out. I guess I'm gonna cut this one off first to see if it's gonna, you know, pan out. I'm gonna save that piece because I, there's another piece that needs to be added to that and I have to figure it out, so I'm gonna save that one. I wish cutting steel out was that easy. Gotta take time to clean my shop up. I got yelled about it the other day. Somebody on the internet. 3 Looks like it's going to work. Needs a little fine tuning. Guess it could always weld on it if it's not strong enough, but I'm sure it's going to be strong enough. I probably could have drilled a little bit bigger hole in there, but I think that'll do. Anything, I think the steel is a little bit bigger than what's normal there. So that's going to be my um, my throttle, and I'm going to shore this up a little bit. I 
there's supposed to be a block of steel right here, but I mean, that does well enough right there. I think I'm going to just put some uh, lock nuts on it. And uh, these bolts, it bolts underneath the dash under there, so these won't be here. But everything's adjustable. It's adjustable up and down, which looks like I need to go down with it a little bit. And uh, this is adjustable back and forth, which I haven't made the full adjustment yet. But let me see if I got full throttle here. Here's my throttle. Whoa, man. That's maxed out, and that's maxed out right there. You know that this is maxing out at the same time, so I need those to uh, coincide with each other. Trim that up a little bit, and now I'll be in business. About ready to install it. Of course, I got to drill a hole in the firewall. I should have done this first, I guess. Got to put a three-quarter inch hole in the damn firewall. I'm not looking forward to that. Okay, there's the hole I had to put in the firewall. Unfortunately, it had to be so big. I'm going to put some kind of grommet in there or something. That's where it comes through right there. Don't want to go any bigger than that, that's for sure. Alright, go ahead. So it's bottoming out. Is it kind of hard to push? Not really. I mean, this seat's a little far back from me. But... Yeah, I wasn't going to do the washers. I was going to actually put a block in there, but it works well enough, and I don't see any flexing. There is a cable that's kind of in the way right there, but I'm going to maybe pull that to the side and zip tie it. And I need to seal up the hole back there. But as you can see, um, it does what it's supposed to do. And let's go look at it from the other side. Yeah, I'm going to need you to keep doing that. You see the cables routed up through there. Nice, almost straight path. And I've got a little extra left over. Um, so when the pedals move in and out, um, it'll be able to move with the cable. So right, Now i got to figure out what to do about this cooling tank. Whether I'm going to keep it and change the intake or... Keep the intake and remove that and find some other solution, which I think I'd rather do that. All right, thanks, son. Thanks for the help. Hey, thanks for watching my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, please do for future updates. Remember, build it, don't buy it.